Welcome back to another episode of Multi Block Madness, where I built a thing. Uh, kind of going for like a bunker type thing, and uh, we'll probably change it at some point, but slightly better than just having our uh, shrinking rays just out in the open. Yeah, not super happy with it. Um, it's got to be something else we can do with it, and it is also very dark in here. But the plan for today was just to do that bunker. I haven't actually looked at the quests. But we're carrying on. Now that we've got that uh, storage system set up, crafting is going to be significantly easier, especially with the wireless component of it as well. So that is just fantastic. But if we look in the quest book, it seems like I think we have to get into Thorncraft. And then it looks like Between Lands is coming up pretty quickly. Now, I was looking forward to actually having a little bit of an explore of the Between Lands, but uh, I've been on the Discord and it's actually being removed from the pack in the next update. So we'll go there and grab the minimum of what we need to, but I definitely won't spend too much time there. Especially for people watching this in the future, they're, or even potentially by the time I get this video out. Um, it may have already been removed, so... Fantastic mod, I like it. But obviously a lot of people playing this pack weren't a huge fan, so it's actually being removed. But, looks like we've got a couple of options when it comes to Thormcraft. Now, this here is the Cheaters Thormonomicon. This unlocks all of the research. Uh, because research can be a bit annoying. Um, I'm undecided. If we get annoyed by it, we might come back and just grab this because it looks like it's just a checkbox. But otherwise, we just need to craft ourselves a Thormonomicon. And somewhere I have my Acacia Tome. And I suspect the Thormonomicon is not part of it. And no, it's not. I can't see it anywhere. So we actually want to craft one. So I think we actually got them as quest rewards. Bookshelf. Sailor's Mundus. That goes there. We chuck that on there. Nice. And we get another Sailor's Mundus back. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll hold off on this. And it looks like it's a thing for clearing warp as well. Um, warp can destroy parts of your base, but it's also kind of... I mean, if the mod didn't have that in it, it'd be a little bit dull. So, Salus Mutinus. Throw some Salus Mutinus on a crafting table. He goes there. Ah, we need to make sure we're going through and grabbing the research. So, now that we've opened the book, this will work. But before it didn't, because, yeah, if you don't go through the quests, then, uh, like, the, the quests in the Thormonomicon, um, stuff does get locked. And we want to grab... Oh, we get all of them. Perfect. Now, I'm actually going to set this up in my base. This is a terrible idea, and you should not do it. If you do, you definitely risk destroying some of your stuff. Um, but I'm going to do it. Because, yeah, I've played Thumbcraft a few times. I think we can just be a little bit careful with warp or flux. And why do I have that bookmarked? I think I was looking into the recipe. Uh, yes, this can be dangerous, so don't set it up in your base. First thing we want to craft is the Thermonomicon, which is bronze plates, glass panes, Boom, a thermometer. Perfect. And then it's a good idea to go around and scan a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, because this gives you observations and you need that for uh, progressing through some of the stuff. So I'm just going to run around and scan literally everything. Okay, so a bunch of scanning later. Now it's time to 
make the a wooden table and some scribing tools. So this is both a quest here, which again, if you grab this book, you don't need to do researching. If you don't grab the book, you will need to do it. So come in here and I had to claim this quest and this quest or part of the book or I don't know what you'd call it. But down here, discovering alchemy. So this is just throwing Salus Mundus at a cauldron. Um, but let's also get this wooden table, uh, this dude, and scribing tools, and interesting, ooh, uh, just this one. <laughs> so the wooden table, pretty simple. Scribing tools, we may not have black dye. Oh, we've got the black lotus. Actually, black sprouts also work, right? Uh, one of these will work. And a bottle. No, we happen to have one. Cool. Yeah, and it's a quest, and it might also be a quest here. This thing, we need a research table. I think that's what's that's what happens if you do this. Research table. Nice. Ah, and then we put the scrubbing tools there. Ah, we also need paper in here. Which we get as a quest reward. And interestingly, they give you an oak bookshelf. Um if you want to get bonuses for the things you're trying to research, certain blocks being placed near, like quite near, to the research table help. So this gives us a bonus to something, and this gives us a bonus to something else. And these light bulbs are like your inspiration. Um, so each time you click on this, you like use a light bulb. Sometimes you get light bulbs back. For this one, we have to make a dropper. Um, and generally, we're kind of going through this and you'll be like looking for something. So this gives us fundamentals, which is this icon here. Um, this one's going to give us, well, this one splits it evenly between everything. So you may or may not want this. Like if you've got a whole heap of percentage and something you're actually after, you wouldn't click on this one. But this one will give us energistics. We'll complete the theory. And we didn't get enough stuff to... Unlock a observation theory. I think a theory, um, but we don't lose the the progress towards it. Just you need a certain amount of stuff before you get one of the theories. And I don't know if we need one right now, but we will shortly. So well, we're gonna have to make something else to get to this. But let's do this crucible. So if we wanted a cauldron, and I'm gonna have to go deal to the Enderman. <laughs> Cauldron can go here. Do we have some Salus Mundus? We got a little bit. Cool. Just in case that was a quest. And that completed that one. Um, yeah, we will see. Oh, see, we got a observations that was from running around scanning stuff cool so we've done researching and fusing um, and to get oromancy we just need to go to the lowest point we can and the highest point um, we'll see how far through we need to get before we go and rush off and do that I've got to find this enderman he is way too noisy <laughs> That'll teach you for being so noisy. My gosh. In fact, that's... You're not helping the situation. I feel like that amount of noise is unnecessary. Um, he might be hungry. I think he's getting stuck. Trying to reach some food, so we might be able to tame him. Seems pretty difficult to tame, though. Nope, you're not going to tame. You're just, you're going to have a nap. All right. 
So it looks like, apart from I'm getting pushed around by a dinosaur, uh, it looks like we need to make a cinder plinth. Placing items in here and powering with embers will burn them into ash. Okay, that's a mate. Is that necessary? Yeah, you walk away. So, cinder plinth. Constantine rod. We haven't made Constantine yet. We've made these things. This thing. Gem cutter's table. Okay, blaze powder. Flint and steel. We might have blaze powder. We do. Uh, a flint and steel. We can make one of them. Um, and some coal. I might be a little bit low on coal. I may be out of coal. Oof, we got some left. Uh, I went and chucked what I had in my dank null uh, down into down into the uh, ember mining thing. So is that enough to make one of them? Perfect. Um. I didn't mean to get rid of that. So we also need some lead plates. Um, we have that. I did make that. It's just not picking them up. And then Constantine. Constantine is made from. Oh dear. Ah, oh, right. Uh, copper and nickel. Ah. Oh. I think I've got, I have copper, I don't have nickel. Uh, let's prioritize some nickel. And easy. This will hopefully be enough. Now I imagine this is probably a blacksmith's work table thing. And it is, which means we need this dude. I think we might be out of lava. I mean, we are out of lava. I think we need lava. Cool. So I think we just needed two, right? Perfect. A cinder plinth. And this needed a ember... emitter and a Receiver, right? Receptor. Ah, oh, whoops. Shift right click. Right click. Cool. And... What do we do with this guy? He made ash by... Doing something. Placing items in here and powering it with embers will burn them to ash. So like any items, like... A spell book? I'm going to say yes. Cool. And I guess... I mean, I guess you just put like dirt or something in there, right? And okay, so we got the ashes from that. Pick in, and they're probably used for something. Maybe an arcane stone. Ash and stone. Just made with... Ashes, ash pile, volcanic ash. Don't we have volcanic ash? Is that another thing we have? Oh, it's just picked up our ash pile. And I guess we make some of this. No, we don't. Oh, we had volcanic rock or something, didn't we? Not volcanic ash. But all right. Uh, so arcane stone, it's just any vis crystal with some of the stuff and we're making that probably for a reason. Probably for a reason and I've got some crystals in here. Cool. Eight arcane stone, that'll be the quest. Nice. And then alchemy. Ah, oh, so that's making the crucible. Oh, I need a cauldron. 
Quest complete, making your way to the Between Lands. Uh, I didn't make this. Either find a swamp and kill lots of dark druids to get all of the talisman pieces, or you can craft them. Ah. Um, but. Is that really the next thing we want to do, or... Let's hold off. Let's make another cauldron, because I did things out of order. And a Salus Mundus, and this will be this quest. Ah, uh, we got Netherrack. Um, that is because you want to light a fire under the sky. What's beneath this? I mean, do I really want to light a fire? Probably not there, right? This probably wants to be outside. Well, I guess we'll set this up because we want to light a fire and because this can make warp rifts that can destroy part of your base. We'll set this up over here, um, kind of away from all of our stuff. So, uh, sure, if that was there, we'll just light a fire. You can use magma as well, um, it's what I've done in the past. Oh, mate, I'm going to have to move you. I'm going to have to move you. So we're going to want an infinite water source here. And we buff water in the sky. He will start boiling eventually. Let's set up on this other stuff. Because he will pick up the crucible now. That's pretty sweet. You go there. You go up there. Um, let's... I guess we're doing this. Yeah, I kind of want this to be like a, a magic cave, and we just accidentally put stuff in there. We're off to a good start. Yeah, if you accidentally drop your tools in here, they're gone. You'll get a bit of stuff from them. Um, like that icon with the magic wand in the hand, you'll get those elements. These things, what are they called? Or um, this crystal. Yeah, you'll you'll get some stuff, but uh, you probably don't want to be doing that. Let's get our bookshelf to chuck back here. Perfect. So we can get the research stuff from it. Um, we need to make nitro. Oh, the thermometer cannot see what's inside. You need the goggles for that. Don't drop it in. I have done that before. <laughs> I've totally done that before. Um, so we need to make this. So the goggles. Uh, so we go at form goggles of revealing, I think they are. Goggles of revealing. And the research is locked because we haven't done something. Discovering artifice requires alchemical metallurgy. Um, alchemy? You've not yet begun. We've begun. Alchemical metallurgy. We need to make some alchemical brass. All right, and that's just copper with some instrumentum. Uh, so that kind of looks like tools, which gives you a pretty good idea of what you can make that will have it. So that's got a bunch of other stuff as well. Now, do we have much quartz left? Because we're going to want some quartz slivers. In fact, we're going to need some quartz slivers, and they can live right here and if there's still stuff in here that would have got them out so no that dissipated into the atmosphere which is questionable questionable but if we were to make that iron pickaxe and actually a wooden pickaxe I don't have much wood we'll just do a couple of these, so that would be 24 instrumentum, and we need uh, brass, right? Brass required. It's the wrong brass, we need alchemical brass. Five. So this is going to be like four. Four copper will turn into alchemical brass, and there'll be a little bit of stuff left over. But that should be cool, so... And then... 
alchemical brass. Nice. And then we drop cold silverism to clean things up a bit. And that's probably not empty yet. Let's wait for that to start boiling. Come on. I might be boiling, and then we chuck the cold silvers back in. And yes, there was a little bit of stuff left over. So there was this instrumentum left over and a bunch of metallum. Um, which makes sense, it was an iron pick. Metallum's kind of like metals. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Probably didn't create too much pollution. Um, we'll be able to see that once we complete this quest. And then we're talking about making thormium. I don't know if the recipes have changed for that. Uh, you can complete that research. Probably complete that research if I still had the crystals on me. Nice, and then it wants... Yeah, let's, let's not look at that at the moment. Um, these all come from this guy there. Now we can make these. That's just four leather, our chemical brass, and we need two thermometers. All right. Look how cool we look. So these are the goggles of revealing, um, and they let you see what stuff is currently in the crucible. So if we chuck something in there, like let's not chuck in leather that we just made. Um, I actually just thought I was recording and wasn't, so I've, I've made some stuff. Made some stuff, like the chemical brass. Do we already make that? We might have already made that. But if we were to check, like, what's got a small amount of stuff on it? This stuff. We can now see it. And then as we check in quartz, we ran out of water. Yes, goggles revealing are very handy for seeing what you've got in your crucible. Because you don't want to have too much stuff. And you can't get out one of that but it will dissipate into the atmosphere over time and build up in the top left you'll see that dark purple bit on the bar it'll build up that if it dissipates in the atmosphere every time you craft something in here a little bit of that flux gets released and it will build up over time and that's generally a bad thing you just saw it's like a little puff of purple smoke and all the stuff's gone from in there but what I was just about to go and get ready to craft was we need to make this yellow nitre. And Potentia and Ignis we get from coal, which you can see there. The, the hand thingy and the fire thingy. Candle stuff is on the torch, or lux. But uh, it uses illumination powder, which we don't have a starlight infuser. We can't make that yet. Um, so we're going to have to get Radiant Dust, which is easy enough, and Aquamarine Dust, which means we're going to have to get the old Quartz Grindstone out, and crush by hand some Aquamarine, because we don't have any other stuff, unfortunately. So for making Nitre, 10, 10, and 10 of each. So 10, 20, 30, 40. 50 and then if we got five coal this should be all the stuff we need and then before the stuff runs out let's nice and then there's just 10 beast stuff left over if we're quick we can get it all oh don't fall in there nice so we now have nitre. Perfect. Um, we've already got alchemical brass. Oh, these seeds are in the game. Well, in this mod pack, rather. Flint is a go good source of tool lessons. Precantatio might be good. From memory. Well, from greedy craft, actually. When these seeds grew they gave you other random seeds, so you could end up getting like all the essences. Huh. We'll see if that's still the case. But alright, so we've done that, we've done that. So we've got these. Why have you not picked up? There we go. And... 
Why would we want another one? Guess the... Th uh, we'll leave that un unclaimed for now. So this requires mana-infused items. Right, so we have to get into Britannia. So I guess we'll leave that for next episode. And also looks like we're going to need to do a little bit of between lands. So, cool. All right, some good progress today. A uh, little bit of Thumbcraft. We've got these cool glasses. Uh, yeah, things are going well. Things are going well. Um, not too much multi-block stuff today, but we did get this guy built. Um, didn't really do a time lapse or anything with it because I didn't spend a lot of time on it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's grown on me a little bit. It's obviously not anything super amazing, but uh, at least it's not these things sitting on dirt on top of a hill. So that's pretty cool. Well, you've been watching the episode. It's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.